Hello, I've been playing a lot of Zelda Breath of the Wild video game recently. It's a very fun and massive game uh, where Link the character goes on several quests to eventually free up the princess. Um, I'm not really sure how many of you play the video games but uh, if you do get a chance uh, definitely play Breath of the Wild. It's one of the best video games that I've ever played. Okay. The topic of the day is how do you create a stamina wheel chart in Excel? Now you might be wondering what the heck is a stamina wheel? The character link in the game uh, has a stamina. This uh, will be used when he is climbing a hill or swimming or running or galloping a horse or whatever. And the stamina wheel has the capacity, right? As you keep running or climbing that you spend your stamina and once your stamina wheel is done uh, you have to give up and regain your stamina so that's the point of stamina wheel so the stamina wheel initially starts with one full circle but then as link gets uh, further enhancements to his character by completing certain missions or quests he can get uh, some additional um, additional room on that stamina wheel uh, so the stamina wheel has one full circle to begin with and then you can have uh, two further circles added to it. So to depict that whole thing, they come up with this very cool visualization of a stamina wheel that appears on the screen whenever you you engage in an activity where uh, you your stamina is going to be spent. So I'll quickly show you. It's um, this is. it looks uh, let me just open up a web page where there are some game screenshots so this is here links stamina wheel he has got two and maybe uh, another 20 percent on on the third wheel here and he's already spent that bit and then now the second circle is slowly going down uh, here's another screenshot where there is only like one and a half uh, of stamina is left so this is what a stamina wheel looks like so i got really curious because this is a very cool way to depict what you have uh, versus a target or something and i thought uh, maybe we should make something like this in excel so this is my breath of the wild stamina wheel chart in excel uh, as you could see let me go and quickly play here if i have 50 target of 200 and actual 50 this is how it shows up uh, 175 and then when you go 200 you get a full circle what happens after 200 250 you get something extra on the top uh, 300 this goes down right and the 500 which will be two full circles and then a half 575 is is like this so it can go up to full three full circles and after that it wouldn't really change uh, the only inner number will will change so this is because uh, I'm trying to stay true to the uh, breath of the wild origins here where they only have three stamina wheels uh, so how do you make such a thing well we will see that in this uh, video uh, the first bit is you got your target and actual you calculate percentage completion which is nothing but uh, actual divided by target uh, you know and then i created three circle calculations uh, we will set the actual to be maybe about 150 so we could see what happens circle one is only used from zero to 100 percent circle two is 100 to 200 and circle three is 200 to 300 and the filled portion tells me what portion of the circle should be filled and what's the gap so from 0 to 100 it will it will have values here and then once you go beyond 100 uh, then this will be filled to 100 gap with 0 and then second circle gets started filled so this is all done with some very simple if formulas here i'm not explaining the if logic but uh, um, you know you could look at this the, we look at the percentage if it's greater than one then it's one else that minus one like that right so we get this and then what i do is i select all of these bits go to home um, sorry insert and then start inserting a donut chart so we will get uh, something like this now it all depends on how your excel is reading this data to me it seems like it is reading this as two donuts each with three series that's not what i have here i have three uh, three donuts each with two series so to kind of flip this i can go to my chart design ribbon and then say switch row column so that we will get this picture right once this is there then what we will do is we will um, select the 
inner uh, circle that's the one uh, and then right click on it change series chart type uh, circle one that's my inner circle that need not be donut I want that to be a full pie chart okay uh, and then we will click OK so this so currently the pie chart is kind of overlapping the donuts how do I bring the donuts to the front and to do that we can right click on the change series chart type again make sure the both uh, donuts are on the secondary axis this will kind of bring them to the foreground because the secondary axis takes priority over the primary axis values of the charts uh, and then we, we can now see that so the inner one uh, we, we, we now all we have to do is we got the basic shape we just need to format and this is where it kind of takes a little bit of um, uh, just you have to manually do it one at a time so we will go to the filled portions the the filled portion of this circle we have to double click so that we are only looking at the filled portion and then go to format and I'm gonna just go with yellow color there um, then the outer one the donuts here um, again uh, we will just uh, say that uh, see this this is what happens when you do it uh, you have to just select that one alone and then do it for that the non filled portion that's the blank one it's very tricky to select these but they should not have any fill see I did not even select that uh, probably this should uh, have yeah the white color and then white color for that as well so we will get something like this uh, at this stage it's kind of complete we just need to test this uh, we can change the actual to 75 um, and then this color also we will make um, white color so we will get that uh, 125 um, sorry 225 I can see that bit 375 you can still see that 450 and uh, okay so this is the problem um, that bit it needs to be again that color right once that's done then what I want to do is I want to add a circle in the middle so we could select the chart go to insert uh, illustrations and then shapes and then click on the oval and then draw a circle shape in the middle make sure it's uh, centered like that and then we will fill up this circle with white color no climb right and then in this circle I'm going to set the formula this circle should be equal to my percentage value there right once that is done we will align this in the middle um, and then uh, we can we can see the percentage as well you you can use the format options to remove any um, padding in the inside of the circle so that it can kind of take up more space there so that's your breath of the wild stamina wheel chart it was quite fun creating this uh, and uh, not really sure when in my uh, life I might use it but it's it's a really good chart so uh, it can probably take place in in a dashboard or something I'm not a huge fan of gauges or uh, gauges or or speedometer kind of charts but they're always fun and uh, they they have a place and time to use uh, depending on how, how you apply them so hey um, yeah give it a try and uh, yes uh, if you do have some spare time feel free to play breath of the wild it's it's a really good game uh, i had countless hours of fun playing it thanks for watching this video i'll talk to you again next time Bye bye